everyone, and welcome to this mindfulness moment. My name is Emily. Today we're going to talk about flowers. Do you love flowers? Flowers are one of my favorite things. They feel like bringing sunshine into the house. You can see today out this big window that we have a lot of sunshine coming in. We also have some flowers. Let's take a look. These flowers bloom in March in Pennsylvania. Do you know what they're called? These are called daffodils. And if we look at them, we see that they're the color yellow. But we also see they have other colors. This daffodil is white, a cream color with some orange in the middle. These are mostly yellow on yellow. Some are bright orange, some are yellow and orange, some have maybe a little red in them, looking for all the different colors of sunshine in the daffodil. And they have a very friendly look about them, don't you think? Maybe we can remember the word daffodil because it's like they're laughing. Little laffodil, daffodil. Very friendly flowers. What other flowers do we have here? Ooh, we have the hyacinth. Let me reach the hyacinth here. You can see it up close. Looks like it has lots of little trumpets. Do you see that? This one is about a week old, the blossoms. Let's say hi to the hyacinth. And they smell so good. To me, the hyacinth plant always smells like Easter that scent of spring. Let's see what other plants we have out here. I have some succulents in the window. Can you see them? Let me bring out my succulents. Ooh, they're in a big heavy container. I'll bring them out to you. Do you see? Wow! Look at those. They're purple, green, there's even a cactus in there. I'll set this down. Succulents are really popular. Maybe you've seen them around. I think people like them because they're very beautiful and they last for a long time. These blossoms have been going for almost a year. You give them a little bit of water about once a week, not too much water. They love the sun. Another plant, we have this. I think this is called a philodendron. Look at how long the leaves are. And these stems just get longer and longer and longer and longer. So it's nice to trim them. This likes some water. And you want to make sure that the pot has a hole in the bottom so the water can come out. You can put a little dish underneath. Another flower, this one's sort of interesting. Do you see this? What is this? What could that be? These are herbs. There's lavender and chamomile and sage. And last summer, I went to a farm and I picked these herbs and then I wound them and I wrapped some twine around them or string and then I hung them, made a little herb bundle and when you hang this in the home, it makes your home smell fresh. Nice and fresh. Another plant we have behind me, this bright yellow is forsythia. Forsythia comes in big bushes and you can cut one of the stems and stick it in the ground and grow another big bush. So they continue and continue. Oh, I also have some peach blossoms. Look at these, these are cool. These were cut from a peach tree. Look how long the stems are. And then I bundled them up together. Do you see that? Put a little rubber band, ooh, they're dripping. And I put them in here. So do you know that before a fruit becomes a fruit, there's a little blossom? So where all these little blossoms are on the peach tree is where a big peach will grow. 
And that's true for apples and cherries and pears, other fruit trees. The spring is a wonderful time to see all the flowers blooming around us. We can admire them when they're outside. We don't have to pick them. But if we do pick them, we can bring them into our house. Some last a short time. We need to change their water and then eventually we can put them back outside. Some last a really long time, like the succulents. These, as I take care of them, are gonna keep blooming. This, like the philodendron, will grow and grow and grow and get longer and thicker and longer starting new plants. And like the daffodils, they'll last probably a week inside. Just like us, plants need to be taken care of. We can take care of them by giving them fresh water. Just like we like to drink water, plants like to drink water too. Give them lots of sunshine. That's why I like to keep my plants near this big windowsill. Give them a little love and attention if they need to have their leaves trimmed, freshen up the vase, rearrange the arrangement. Bringing flowers into your home is like bringing sunshine through the window. So for our mindfulness moment today, we learned about some of the plants in my house. If you want, you can look around your house I bet you can find some flowers. Maybe you have some indoor plants that stay there a long time. Sometimes they're fake. That's okay too. Or you can look out the window and maybe see a couple little buds that are blooming. And if you like, you can pick them and put them in a vase so you have them inside, bringing that sunshine into your house. So take a look, see what's blooming around you and spread the sunshine. Thanks for joining me today to look at your plants and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.